Next he says to these brethren, you have no need that I should write to you. The intent of his words is not that the information was useless or somehow superfluous. It was because he had already told them that the timing of the events was beyond the sphere of his instruction to the church. You're not going to get it from Jesus because Jesus was speaking to the Jews under the law about end times events pertaining to them. You're not going to get it from him. You're also not going to get it from him through inspiration because he said in Acts 1, 7, and 8, it is not for you to know the times and the seasons. So you're not going to get it from Jesus. Paul is saying, you're not going to get it from me. And you're not going to get it from anywhere else in the Bible as well. Everybody got that? Mm -hmm. It's not going to come. Okay. September 19th. It's what? September 19th. September 19th. That's what we're waiting for. Okay. We're going to put that on the video. A great graphic from you, and we're going to have 800,000 views. And as soon as they hear me saying you can't know, they'll click off. So it'll be a, a, a video that, you know, they tell you how many minutes people watch or if they skip through and all. You can, you can tell everything. Every country, how many people have watched it twice. You can know everything possible about a video. He likes that. I never look. He knows every stat of every video he's ever published. That would drive me crazy. I don't look at those things. As a matter of fact, Sergio was going to update it because you have to update it by uh, June 28th, I think, or September some day. 29th. Well, no, there, yeah, there's a day when you have to do it, and if you don't, you lose all of that information. I said, I've never looked. I'm not going to look, so don't bother wasting your time helping me with it, okay? I don't care. I'm not here to be impressed by numbers. Now, he's got a different focus. He wants people to come to Jesus. You know, if they are willing to watch a video with a guy like me, they're either already knowing about Jesus or they're interested interested enough to overlook what I look like. Like Loretta was describing uh, uh, last last week, she said basically that. Well, I'm, she said, I pulled up to the church and she said, well, I can always get out of there. <laughs> so, okay. But she's still here, so praise the Lord for that. Anyway, okay, those things don't interest me. Okay, but here we go. After saying this, he says, brethren, I said that. Next, he says, brethren, you have no need. Okay. Um, it was because he had already told them that the timing of the events was beyond the sphere of his instruction to the church. No Jesus, no Paul, nobody else. It ain't coming. It is natural for us to long for Jesus' return. And thus, that curiosity would then otherwise turn into idle speculation if he didn't quell it in his audience now, which is what he's hopefully doing, quelling it. So people don't spend the next 2,000 years speculating, but they don't want to read Paul. They want to predict. And so they don't heed the word of the Lord. Okay. And then they accuse you of being a bad Christian because you tell them that you can't know these things. And they say, we can know them because the guy on YouTube said so. No kidding. Okay. That's fine. Believe what you want. It is natural. I said that too bad. We still don't pay heed. Instead, it is the duty of the church to concern ourselves with affairs of the church and not attempt to pry open the box of these future events, which the Father has, as Jesus said, put under his own authority. Acts 1-7. There Jesus spoke the same words which Paul now puts to paper with the flow of his ink. 